Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Yaya Toure card to review. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot two, medium, medium work rates, right footed, four star skimmels, they four star weak foot. Uh, so the main purpose of using a card like this in your team is probably going to be as one of your attacking oriented CDMs. So if you're playing a two CDM formation, uh, you play with one medium high and then you have this guy next to him. He's a four star weak foot. So that kind of allows you to use him in the left sided areas if you want to. But obviously the best position for him will be in that right sided area to utilize his strong foot on the strong side for how this game kind of plays out. Uh, In-game player traits, Yaya Torre is working with the long shot taker, outside foot shot traits, as well as the playmaker trait, right? In-game attributes, the card is going to have uh, 88 acceleration with a 92 for sprint speed. If we take a look at his in-game stuff, let's take a look at this card, right? So he is already base lengthy, right? So when you give him the shadow chemistry style, uh, he's going to be working with the 88 and 92 while being improved in the defensive area, right? So as you guys know, uh, it's a big reason why I like the Palinga card so much, right? The fact that he's a lengthy player for that, um, you know, long distance run thing where he actually has really good defensive animations as well. It's a very important thing to work with when it comes to defending in this game, right? So the fact that this card could potentially attack as well as he possibly could while being able to defend as well as he possibly could because of the lengthy kind of making him do those runs a little bit better definitely a huge plus to have for a midfielder right shooting stats for base card stats as a midfielder is fantastic passing also fantastic with a four star weak foot at an 88 for composure uh the dribbling is probably going to be the main area that you probably notice a little bit because he's a taller player at six foot two with a high and average plus body type with 79 agility, 71 bounce, right? So obviously we're gonna be taking a look at that in game. But what's really nice is that these three dribbling stats is very noticeable in this year's game for compensation for those two areas. Like these two areas are usually the key ones. Like if these guys have like 90 something agility and balance, it's always super helpful. But when these things are in a pretty decent area, it compensates well for it. Uh, defensive stats on a shadow will obviously be in a fantastic area. And then for physicality, he's also going to be set up very nicely as well. So what's interesting about this card is that they definitely didn't want to make him a lengthy on an engine because he would be probably like endgame meta, to be honest with you guys. Because you guys know that Valverde has decent defensive stats, but on a lengthy, right, he's on like an architect or something. He's amazing to work with. Like he defends really well. He attacks really well. Um, so the engine on a card like this would definitely have been definitely a, a huge plus. Definitely have definitely, this is how you know I'm doing a lot of introductions right now. Uh, but yeah, Shadow Chemistry Style is going to be the most ideal one, I think. Physical stats will definitely be in a very good area as well. So um, yeah, in-game, we'll be using him in the 4-2-3-1 formation, which is perfect to do the review for this card, because we're also doing the review for Dirk Kite. So Dirk Kite is going to rotate there eventually while we rotate some other players uh, accordingly. So yeah, instructions for Yaya Torre, just cover center. He's going to be on balance so that he can kind of push forward and do whatever he wants, right? So um, yeah, we'll see how he plays in game. Hopefully he is a beast. Oh, I try, you know, I try to do a turnaround pass to see if it would work there. The, that's really low percentage passes in FIFA, so. Oh man, I messed up the pass initially too. Nice weighted pass. Nice goal. We'll take that. So what I'm noticing so far with Jack Grealish is that um, obviously if you play him in the middle, you probably have to give him a different chemistry style, right? Like a, a finisher or something, uh, because he does do a lot of drag touches without uh, a dribbling boost. So I want to see what it's like with it. Nice. Well positioned on the attack for that too. That's perfect. Need that. Nice.
Have the jam for me there. Nice goal, boys. Good build up play. Oh, yeah, yeah. Beauty. Good finish. Yeah, yeah, well positioned there. Build up play. Good job, boys. Good job. Yeah, yeah, Torre coming in from behind. Nice, nice, nice. He saved that. Oh, he like changed his re his like his save animation there. You see that? The heck was that? Almost scored an absolute banger there. Nicely done with the weak foot there too. Weak foot again. That's some like really quick responsive dribbling right there. Like the quick left stick was really sick. white time there. Dirk Kite well positioned afterwards though. Solid, solid, solid stuff. Well done. We're still good. We get the jam, man. We get the jam. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, good to get that fake shot to get that finesse shot angle with him. Oh, jam. You know I got that jam. Got that jam. No trouble. Yeah, yeah, I got the jam. Got the jam. No trouble. Oh, I tried to do the L1 fake shot there. I actually got it off, it would have been fine. Oh, a little bit rough on the dribble there. Which is to be expected, of course, right? Ooh, yeah, yeah, on that physical. Nice. The extra unnecessary dribbles are not needed, yay, thanks. Fake shot, you can literally see my controller, man. You can see my controller doing a fake shot, EA. Okay. We will take it. Hold on, Yaya. Ooh, Yaya's offside? Oh. Oh, I should take a touch there. Nice goal. I'll take it. Rare gold, Bernardo Silva still doing the thing. Rare gold.
Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Yaya Torre card. Uh, this card is super, super enjoyable to use. Um, you know what the main thing with him is? It's the fact that he's lengthy, right? The lengthy is super helpful because this is a card that is really nice to have on the attack. Now, what I will say, right, is that for the longevity of the game, sometimes having extra dribbling capabilities in the attacking third is nice to work with. However, I don't know what it is, but this card sometimes in game does like those really quick touches like you guys can actually see me doing it with him uh on two or three different occasions during this review which obviously is very helpful considering the fact that he's a six foot two player uh with the body type that he has right so uh it's one of those cards where agility and balance is noticeable sometimes but like dude just work with it you know because as your uh player that is going to be you know the more balanced oriented midfielder he's sick to use because on in the attacking third it's really noticeable when he offers his attacking presence on a consistent basis the thing that you notice a lot right with lengthy players that can attack is the pace and the running animation they have when it comes to you attacking because sometimes the runs that these guys make it's not always about you know focusing the play to get them the ball sometimes it's just about them pulling players out of positions for you to create space with other players right and if he's committing so much in the attack but also committing so much on the defense just as much because of the lengthy making him kind of push that way it is really really nice to work with right shadow chemistry style on this card is super ideal because 88 acceleration 92 sprint speed sprint speed with those stats on a lengthy super noticeable in game right the, the pace is really really noticeable in the attack and the defense and then obviously defensively he's very solid why because the card is six foot two with a high and average plus body type right so he's a taller player even if he doesn't have the craziest interceptions he's still going to do a good job intercepting because he has really high height right physical stats super noticeable too that with the lengthy is just a helpful thing because the lengthy is being activated if he's pushing up against someone he'll be able to get the ball and out muscle them right so a lot of very interesting variables to work with with yaya Torre. i know i never did the review for this card but i remember getting this card in a draft one time literally in a draft and i was like this card's amazing i wasn't even doing a player review for him and he scored like three goals in like the first game playing in like a three back formation as the balanced uh, CDM, right? Like pushing forward and coming back. It was it was incredible. And I think they gave me at the time a shadow chemistry style too. I could be wrong. It was either that or they gave him an architect. It was something like that when I when I used him. But um, yeah, the card's absolutely fantastic. If you want for this card, right? You don't necessarily have to give him a shadow. An anchor would be just as nice, right? Because having some extra physical would be good, and he's still a lengthy player, right? Uh, you can see that most people are going to be giving him the Shadow Chemish style, uh, because obviously on the lengthy, it's fantastic, right? But it is an option you can work with if you really want to have that extra physical capability, because the lengthy will still push the pace out of the card uh, in a, to be in a very, very decent area. But Shadow on a 92 sprint speed... Pretty, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, fantastic midfielder. Uh, I would definitely use him as a more attacking oriented one. If you keep him on stay back, it's not terrible either, right? Because he'll still offer you some decent attacking support from time to time, right? It's just kind of how these cards work because it'll be like this. Like if you have your two CDMs on stay back, uh, your medium high, if you have that balance, which you should, he's going to be more defensive oriented than the one that might attack from time to time, right? So that's kind of how that works. But I would keep him on balance. He plays really well in that balance, in my opinion. Like, the way he opens up space for the attack is, is awesome. So, um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.